Surin, Frank Surin, Don Surin, Vixen, Comet, and Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it glows like the light bulb of the other reindeer. Used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. In one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, will your nose so bright? Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Bolt. Back with another video. I don't even know if my nose is on straight. There we go. Is that not hilarious? I had to put that on. <laughs> Hope you have an amazing day. Um, today we are going to do a bling bling Christmas tree. I'm sorry I'm a day late, but... It is what it is. I had a family function um, on the weekend, so I was unable to finish my project today. So with that, we're going to get right into it. <laughs> I'm going to take off my nose. I'm going to go upstairs and show my husband how ridiculous I look. And we're going to get into it. So I'm going to get my stuff together and I will see you guys in a couple seconds. Right, we are back. I am all set up. We are going to do our Christmas tree on a 10 by 20 inch canvas. We have it push pinned, taped, ready to go. And I'm just going to do my Dutch pour paints and we're going to blow out the background like I do for the, um, I've been doing it for the um, glue paintings. So these are just a bunch of different blues. And this one is the Deco Art Glam Dust Turquoise Sparkle. I have Grumbrucker's Thalo Blue. We have Deco Art Metallic Ice Blue. I have, um, what's this one? Americana Metallics. This one's Bright, Bright Metallic Blue, it must be. I know. I don't know. That one I just wrote on there. Sorry. Uh, Modern Masters Metallic. Venetian blue. I have Tri Arts um, Magnesium Magnes Blue Hue. And I don't have a whole lot of this, but this is the Folk Art Color Shifting Flash White. So I'm going to just pour it all on and we're going to blow it on out, out and let it dry. And then we'll come back and bling up our, put our tree on. Let's see. We're just going to squirt everywhere, guys. the base down. This one's the tri art. Just want to make sure there's enough paint. Um, let's get some of this glam dust. Put a lot of this because it will make it sparkly. The background and we'll do some of this Grumbrucker's Thalo Blue just a little bit of dark in there and yeah put paint on me already this one is the Deco Art Metallics Ice Blue we're gonna get it here because you want that to get the whole thing covered Make sure there's lots of paint on there. And we'll do this combo. I don't know what this one is. And we will throw in some of this color shift. I'm going to put it all down here because it's going to blow off. We'll see how it goes from here, guys. Wish me luck. Thank you, Sandra. I'm using my 
Blow dryer, here we go. Just adding a bit more white in here because I want it not so so dark and I want to make sure I get this guy here. guys <clears throat> I was trying to blow as much paint off as we could and that way it um, number one dries faster number two we don't need all that paint on there I'm just uh, wanting to get a base coat for our tree now there's spots where it's not the prettiest and we can cover all that up like right here but oh my you can see the glam dust in there so that's gonna be pretty so let me just touch up my sides and sorry if my head is in your way. Just tap, 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 pick up from the bottom. And there we go. So now I'm gonna let this dry and we'll come back and start putting our tree on. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. This is dried. Oh my goodness, that turned out gorgeous. So this, I think I might use the top with that um, folk art color shifting paint. I think that would be awesome because it might look like clouds i don't know and we're so we're going to put a tree at the bottom um before we get started i have this green that we colored but i may not have enough so i thought i'm going to move this because i might um 
make a mess of that. So I'm going to put that behind me. So what I'm going to do is lay down some of my, this is just the decorative filler from Ashland from Michaels. We're going to lay that on here. And we're going to lay off thin yeah, I think that should be good because I laid it out and there probably is enough of this but I wasn't sure so we're going to lay that thin and I'm not sure which green it was but this one I got this one but this one seems to be pretty almost empty so I'm going to attempt this one and if it's a different shade that's cool as well so this is the um pinata alcohol ink and it is rainforest green actually maybe i'll i was gonna leave one hand not gloved but me being me we're gonna put some gloves on oh get my finger in there there we go and all you do is open it up carefully and a good shake and that's it that's all you do all of that in there and like I said it doesn't take a whole lot I probably put more than I needed in there see it's about I think I went a little heavier with it maybe we'll do just a little more just to cover up these the white bits that are on the back of the mirrors. There we go. And all I do is I take a paper towel and it doesn't take long because it's alcohol ink. So it more or less dries instantly. And I just kind of lay it on this. And let it dry. Sorry, I'm just shaking it off without throwing it everywhere. There we go. It's everywhere anyways. And that's that. Let's just... And like I said, it dries instantaneously, more or less. Pick up all these loose ones so we're not going to waste any. And we're just going to set this aside for now. And we're going to get out my... Um, i take this off because I feel we're so restricted when I'm wearing gloves. Alright. Must be a... I don't know. I can't stand socks on either. So it's one of those things... Put those in there, there. All right, so I have opted. We are going to do the tree. The top's gonna to be here. And I don't know which I'm gonna use for the trunk. I have my mirror tiles, but I think I might use this because this is pretty. It's almost a gold silver. It doesn't say, like one way you look at it, it's silver. One way you look at it, it's gold. So I thought I could cut it. I don't want it to be right on the bottom. So I'm going to cut it about to here. And then we're going to try and do almost like a pencil tree. We'll cut both and we'll see which one you think looks better. Let's see. Because I'd like it to be about the same width. So we'll do, uh, let's do one, two, three, four. We'll do six tiles. Where's my little knife? 
Of course, every time I go to find something, I can't find it. I'm just going to use my scissors here. Possibly. I'm just ripping it. We'll go here because that should be long enough. Way long. Too long, actually. There, perfect. So now, sure. Into the tree like that. I really like this one, though. And this is going to be our topper, so this might go with the topper. I have these buttons that I was using for when I was making hats, crocheted hats. I would do a crocheted flower and this would be in the center. So what I did is I took my little nippers and I, whew, I don't know what that is, and I just snipped off the piece. So we'll show you how to do it. It's easy. It's a little harder than jewelry because this is, and yet be mindful because I think if I went too, too, um, if I bent it, the whole casing would pop off because this, I'm 100% sure, is one that is tapered on the end. Let me just. Of course, it was easier to do when it was off camera. Holy Toledo. There, oh, actually, it just pulls out. See? <laughs> so there we go. So we have two to play with. I thought they were pretty. Oh, this one's got a little chip, so maybe we'll use this one. So what I'm doing is I'm going to hot glue it on as my topper. And I'm thinking I want the tree to be there. I want a good four fingers on either end. So I'll start my trunk there. So let me... Whoop, whoop, I'm dropping glues, dropping off my glue gun, and I'm throwing my stone around. So let's get this. I'm just putting glue on the end. Nice big dollop. <clears throat> and I'm going to go, so this is 10, so let me do, where's my little, I see my measuring tape here, it is here, it is here, so 10, so we want to go, actually let's go right about here, and that will work, so this guy here is about halfway, and let's put that, make sure it's sitting straight. I was, I'm using my Triart liquid glass to put the glass down, but I know I don't want to stand here and wait. There, so that's in there. So that's, ah! That's our tree topper that looks adorable. I think that's gonna be pretty. Okay, enough with that. Now, we're going to go basically the same down here, kind of line it up with the tree topper. I don't know, guys. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm, you should always go with your gut instinct, and I, I always change my mind. And sometimes, I'm going to flip you this way, and sometimes it doesn't work, because I need to make sure this is going to be... Maybe what I'll do is I'll back you up. And then you can see me doing it the right way. I don't know. That doesn't even look centered. Yeah, I guess it is. It just doesn't look centered to me. So we're going to look here. And five is here. And we're going to put him in the center. 
going straight. There. So now we have our tree trunk. Our tree trunk and our tree. Topper. There we go. I think I'm going to move you back even more. So you can... Uh, to me it's easier to do it this way, but I don't know. For me it's easier, so I'm going to bring you back decisions I have to make. Okay, so that's that. So this is what I'm using today. And what I normally use when I do my bling blings. So this is Tri Art Liquid Glass Pouring Medium. Now, I like using this because I know it's going to stick. I always used resin when I did my bling blings because I knew it was going to stick. I'm a one-time kind of girl. I hate having to come back and repeat and repeat and repeat. So you can use Mod Podge. You can use um, liquid, like um, the Duraclear that I use for a varnish. You can use that. You can use Elmer's glue as long as it dries clear. But again, I can't guarantee that it's going to stick the first time. That's my only thing. All right. So I've got my Tri Art Liquid Glass in a bottle. It will never go hard in a bottle. You can mix it with paint. You can mix um, glitters in it. I've tried the pigments, but the pigment doesn't, it doesn't um, adhere as well. Like it, it separates, it doesn't um, mix quite as well, but that's what I use. Um, I've got videos where I've used it as a pouring medium, so I can link those videos if you'd like. Now, how far do we want this tree to go? Let's do, I'm going to be, I'm going to do, I'm going to be very technical today. And I know I set my, my measuring tape down. So we're going to go in here. So that's halfway. So we're going to go, let's say here. So I'm going to do a four. I want it to come kind of like this. So we're going to do, I'm going to put some here. Not on my measuring tape. That wouldn't be good. And that's not good because I don't want it that far. And the same over here. I just kind of put it right about there. So we're going to connect here. We want to cover the tree trunk and come there. There we go. And then just kind of angle it up. Let's start here. I'm going to stick some underneath. I was really wanting to do like a pencil tree, but now I'm just going to look at it this way so I can see. Oh no, that's really off. You can see. No, you can't see. Yes, you can see. There. I'm just looking at it so I can get a better angle of the tree. wide enough and then just fill all the center in I'm just squeezing it okay now I'm gonna bring you back this way so we can I just wanted to make sure it was even it might not be even you never know with me the day I try to go technically Measurement wise, I probably goof it up. And I do a good layer. I want it to make sure, like I said, I want to make sure it's going to stick. And 
and this is pricey but it goes a long time like the last jar I had was bigger than the one I have and I had it for three years so but they tell me it should only last for a year at the most so I went to buy a smaller one just so I didn't and you'll go through it fast if you're doing like paint pouring with it because and the paint pouring you don't need to varnish it you don't need to do anything because it is done are so bad sorry guys squeeze and and the other reason I like this within it I always put my fan on it just to let it give it a little bit more of air and it is usually dry within one to two hours I can shake it off All right, so let's get our glass on. I like to put the glass down first. See, and this one is dry. This one is dry already, see? Nothing on my hands. So let's use this one first. And go heavy near the bottom. on the edge the other thing with this it will spread once you start putting your stuff on it's gonna spread so be mindful of that as well and let's get that right on up and underneath in there and down the side Christmas tree theme. I didn't even think about I could have done something else. Last week's was the Christmas tree as well. So that's for the center or the outside. Now I'm going to take this and try to push it in just so we're not going to waste and we get a better idea of where everything is. I'm going to come in with the other one in that way in case it's a different a little bit of a different color to be heavy compared to other ones that I've done I've left room for glitters and stuff so this I'm, I am gonna put glitter I'm just doing a fine glitter but I thought I would I want to make sure there's enough glass on there I'm gonna try this sometime when I have the time because like with me right now it's all time constraints I'm just so crazy busy um, with having to do multiple layers on things. So I would love to do this and drizzle resin over it and do that technique. So I'm just going to dump this right now in this container. And then we have some more of that when we need it. Now the glitter that I chose, this one is from Laura's Art Corner. It is old Christmas tree. I thought it'd be kind of pretty because it has a little bit of the gold in it. 
I don't know if you can see it. Bring it down. A little bit of gold in it. And, oh. and let's get this done. Up high. I really like it when it's in the shaker. I feel like I'm wasting it because it's all on my fingers, see? Now, I just, I don't want to waste it because I know, and I won't waste it, guys. I will, this will all come off. It'll go into another cup. But I don't want to, I'm going to say the word waste again. I just don't want it to um, be used in just one thing. Let me just see if I can find a brush. I'm just going to take this brush. I'm going to brush everything in. looking at these I used to make earrings with these there's little ones and big ones I wasn't sure whether I would put them in there or not and if I did I would come back and probably glue them there's reds there's golds but I want it to be pretty and blingy I don't want it to be I don't know if the word tacky is gonna come out right If I do do this, it'll be after it dries. And I will glue it on with either some glue, like my E6000. And then I also had these. So I was thinking these might be prettier. Let me put it on my phone so you can see it better. These are little stones. Oh my goodness, of course, everything's starting to... Those are little flat back stones so I thought maybe I could glue those in there as well so we'll see so with that I'm gonna put my fan on this let this dry for a few hours and then I've got so many things to do I feel so bad it is um did what is today today's the 19th and I still don't have my Christmas tree up so that's what my mission is today is to get my tree up I just life bit me this last two weeks so with that we're gonna dry this and I will see you guys in a few minutes okay my peoples we're gonna shake this off oh awesome I knew there wouldn't be a lot off there and that's what I was looking for Even the glitter didn't come off very much. I'm just going to stand it up so I can give it a good shake. Look at that. Oh, I'm impressed. That looks cute. Okay, so now I'm going to fold this up because it's going to be used again. Let me just get this all... There we go. I like to get it in the center and then fold it up and it's a nice little neat package. There we go. So, now for the rest of it, I am on the fence. I have, I just want to make sure, I have a bunch of these. This is my little bucket with all my Swarovski crystals and all kinds of different things. So I had found, oh, that would have been pretty on the top, but I didn't want to, you know, it is sometimes 
It's a starfish, but it could have been used as a... Oh my goodness. It could have been used as a tree topper. Maybe next time. Mind you, that's only glued on. <gasps> I don't know. It is some worse. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I might make some jewelry with it. So anyways, too many things. But I did find these. These are Martha Stewart's. They were on clearance. They were half of what was the last price. I purchased these a long time ago. And I have them in a bunch of colors. So I have green. I have this like turquoisey. And then, whoops, sorry. Green, turquoisey. And then this one is like the AB version. Here, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna bring you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. There. So this is like an AB, and this is exactly how the back of that would have been. So we're gonna try. I'm gonna get some of my, my glue, and we're just gonna glue some in so they look like little Christmas ornaments. I have green, we have blue, and we have the AB. And I have a smaller version, but I think they would get lost in there, so I'm going to put that back. We're going to do some work with clay. And is this the same one? Yeah, same one. Same color. So, I don't need that. so we will do, I'm going to attempt to do some work with some clay, because I did clay work um, with some jewelry, and that's what I bought these for. And I, come on, holy Toledo, there we go, take this off, I don't know if they still sell this, but this was from Michael's and they got rid of this a long time ago, she used to have, like you could do this type of thing with it, that would have been a cute, see I find all this after, you can buy Oh, where is it in here? Actually, we're going to use this. This is a crystal adhesive. This is from Tulip. Too many things in here. Oh, there. This is what it is. She had a line of stuff that you could buy. And this, you could put those in a flower and make your own little, right? So that would hold a flower. I'm hoping you can see that. I hope it's focusing. So that's kind of cool. So that's what also I bought was buying them for. So anyways, put that in there. So I'm going to use this glue and a toothpick. And we're just going to place some on in here. And, ooh. E. I still like my E6000. It's over there. I should probably use it. I think I will. And it looks yellow, so I don't want it to go yellow. I know the E6000 will dry clear. Let me get it all down and then I'll use it. And I had some toothpicks. I guess we'll just use this. It'll, it'll work just as good as a toothpick. So I got the, the, the blue, the, um, what color is that one called? It's an AB color anyways. And the AB is when it is, um, like that opal essence on the, over, on the, on it is that's what they call an AB. This one is called she doesn't have colors on them. That is funny. Oh, this one's Peridot P and that's the greeny colored. So this one would be Sugar Cube. And then this one is called Turquoise. There we go. But that's what that is it's called an AB coating and it makes it pearlite like opalescent. Oh my goodness. 
this is how my life is going, guys, this week. It's not been a very good week. <laughs> I'm on a mental... Having a rough week this week. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to dump some of them on. And we're just going to... I'm going to dump them on my little... Here, and we can work with it from here. There. And we'll put that one there. Perfect. All right, let's get this let's get this party started. I'm excited. That's cute, but now huh, I wish I would have had the other one. This is really I'm going to have to buy another one cuz this one is really like it's coming out in clumps and I don't know There we go. So we're just going to put it on the back end where it's pointy, if Sherry's fingers will allow it to, where it's pointy. Put some glue on that and we're going to put it on there somewhere. Perfect. Let's get a green one. There we go. That glue doesn't really want to stick. All right, let's get a turquoise colored one. And we'll just keep placing them on all the way down. Now you could have put, I was debating whether to put like little actual lights in it. For some reason this glue is all clumped. I'm trying guys. sure that you don't really see the glue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you on pause for two seconds. I'm going to continue to do this and I'll fast forward it for you guys. Okay, I'll just be a sec. Okay, so I went through and I strategically put different colors in different spots. And you know what? I put it up on the, the, my pegboard thing behind me and I don't like this. So this is coming off and I think I'm going to make the right decision. I think that's going on. Okay, so I have my E6000 and I am just going to go crazy on the back like a nice big dollop. I'm gonna put it on the canvas and I'm gonna put it on it. And there is a little hole. Well, there is a little hole, but you know what? I'm gonna put it on the side coming down. And let's see if this will work. in underneath and hold it. Do, 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 do. Oh yes, that is so much better. That is so much better. I think we are done. 
I think we are done, my friends. So I'm going to put it on my screen behind me on my pegboard. And I will give you a nice close-up. I'm going to put my lid on that before it goes all craziness. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. Why, there we go. It's hanging on my rack. I think it turned out awesome. I'm in love with the paint in the background. I love that flash, that white flash. What was it called? I'm going to make sure I say it right. That folk art color shifting white flash. I think that is awesome in there. It makes it look like clouds or snow. I think it's gorgeous. I'm glad that I decided to change the treetop because that is stunning. And I know it's a Swarovski crystal. It's expensive, <laughs> but I think it's cute. I love the little, also the little crystals in there to look like either Christmas lights or Christmas balls. And I think the tree trunk is awesome. The only thing I think I should have either maybe put the tree down a little further to the bottom or you could put presents underneath if you desired. I think it's awesome. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing because more than half of you people, amazing people that watch my videos, aren't yet subscribed. And I would just love to hit that next milestone in my YouTube journey of 100,000 and that would be so awesome. It could be a Christmas present. Hit that button. It's free. <laughs> so with that, everything I use today will be in the description box and my sponsors as well. So I'm going to go through my sponsors. So I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts Molds. I have the links to where to purchase Molds and Shapes Molds. I have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass, which we used here today. I also have the links to Crystal Resin with my discount code of Sherry Molten 5. And don't forget, if you use a shallow casting resin, if you order with my discount code, you will receive a free pen mold. It's random and five inks. So what also with I have the links to Let's Resin with my discount code of Sherry Molten 10. I also have the links to the two amazing Lares distributors. I have Michelle from Art Books Resin Canada. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. Go check out her website. She's got many more things other than Lorez. So go check that out. Also, I have Mich <laughs> Laura, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru. My actual, she is my very first sponsor. Um, so go check out Laura's website and use my discount code of Sherry Molten 10% all capital letters and that's where I got that amazing glitter that we use today. So with that, I also have my PayPal if you choose to donate and help support my channel and I'm my Amazon affiliate. <laughs> I'm an Amazon, that's funny. My Amazon shop is in there if you choose to um, purchase through that. So with that, my friends, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed today's Christmas tree. That's two Christmas trees this season. So with that, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.